Yeah, I think Karen's damage output and meter gain is is a little high. Oh, they picked this stage. This stage music is good. As good as Azubu, who dropped the big five months. Thanks very much. One more for that uh, segue. Yeah, I like that he just used that to get out of the corner. You just used the uh, regular V skill, no uh, roll. Wow, that was a cool idea. As soon as she backed off, Big Bird just hit fierce. Like, okay, you're gonna do something. Counter hit. That'll do it. Nice punish. Thing about Karen, right, is she gets, she builds lots of bar, and she gets very consistent and strong Oki off of her hits. Even off of any of her whiff punishes, like jab, jab, tenko, V skill, knockdown, Oki, right? Really useful. Nice whiff punish, man. Dead? No, oh, he doesn't have another bar. I don't know if double tenko does more stun than that. I would imagine it doesn't. Yeah, most of the time, if you want to do what she can do with Jab Jab Tenko and the EX Tenko and a side switch, you have to do like a counter hit combo from light to a medium or something. You know, like Akuma, right? Akuma can do Jab, Medium, Kick, V skill, right? Like, he can do something like that. Or Rashid, Jab, Medium, Punch, EX, uh, Eagle Spike, something like that. That was a good punish. I like also that Big Bird used forward medium punch there. Because of the range, I think that's a good choice. I like that combo route a lot. And if you're here, you need like two crouching light kicks. Or a standing medium kick, I guess, too. Yeah, that works. Now one crouching light kick. Yeah. You know, as soon as you chip away with that whirlwind shot and you add up some gray damage, you, you end up in that point, right, where it's like, well, the win condition becomes obvious and easy and uh, safe, right? The less health your opponent has, the more safe your win conditions can be usually. And for Rashid, that crouching light kick is absurd. Callisto says, Birdie doesn't have hurt boxes and it's hard to have bad matches matchups without him. His standing medium punch is very, very good, yeah. <laughs> Just that, that button alone, not even thinking about Fierce or any of the other really good ground buttons, standing medium punch alone is enough. Yeah, that, that whirlwind gets him one mix up. Well, that crush worked out. I mean, if you don't get that crush there, then the whirlwind doesn't give you too much. But you have two bar V trigger, so damn. I like that Big Bird does uh, whirlwind shot, EX whirlwind shot, and heavy whirlwind shot, not canceled a lot. He does it so much, and it catches people hitting buttons or jumping a lot. That is a hard uppercut to land because you don't know if he's gonna stay go high off the wall or low off the wall. I mean, you know what's funny is like you have. <laughs> this cracks me up. The thing about this character is that even with a character as good as Karen on the ground, he can't press here because of the threat of wall jump into this or that, or no wall jump at all. Like you, you can't, you know, you can't press here because you're afraid of that. Now he presses, but by then, like, you know, Big Bird's had time to chill, set up, do his fierce nice. Jeez, the ting. Plus one, yeah, you have to frame trap for real after that. You can't get greedy. It's plus one against a three frame character. A five frame medium's no good. You gotta use something fast. I don't see exactly what he did, but I assume it was a five frame medium or a throw or something. Empty jump, low medium kick. Dude, when that low profiled everything, that empty jump, low medium kick from Rashid was like the bane of everybody's existence. I thought he might end early to avoid the stun, but it seems like he's willing to take it. Next hit wins anyway. Like counter hit into a, well, yeah. Like counter hit, medium punch, EX whirlwind, kills, throw bait kills. Two throws probably was pretty close. Yeah, exactly. Doing the raw EX whirlwind shot or heavy whirlwind shot or whatever is so much harder to deal with because 
you have all these other things you're looking for. When he does EX whirlwind shot or heavy whirlwind shot off of a button as a cancel, like that's all you're looking for. Once he does the button, you're in block stun and you just see does he cancel like whirlwind shot or not? Yes or no? You just wait. Dizzy, gallop him over to the corner. Wall dive is plus. You mean like wall jump from Rashid? He can do um, air attacks from it, so yeah. I mean, he can do like jumping heavy kick or something. Yeah, he just comes down with a button. So like, you know, if he's gonna cross you up, he does like crouching medium, or jumping medium kick. If he's gonna come in the front, he does heavy kick or whatever. It's good with punish. Start of the round four, medium punch is definitely like, uh, I hope the second hit of this uh, counter hits you so I can get a combo. Empty jump, low medium kick. It's it's actually so good. Nice. That was a good reaction. That's hard to do because if you're a little late, you get hit grounded by EX one shot, which means, you know, you die. Nice! What the fuck? I'm a little mad, but I'm also impressed. Crouching medium punch, and then he, I guess, he must walk back out of the range of the second crouching medium punch to hit fierce. Hey, hey, Big Bird. Hey, fuck you, man. You bitch. Oh no. Yeah, well, nice punish. The crouching medium punch had missed. See, he did it again. That little walk back into crouching heavy punch. Same thing. Bitch ass Big Bird. That was tight. You know, Callisto, it's not bad if they walk back. I mean, actually, you're a soccer player, so yeah, it's a little different. But in general, that walk back into fears, I mean, you're either in block stun or you're not, right? <laughs> it may, it means that if you're a phenom here, you need to do crouching medium punch, crouching medium kick immediately. And if you do that, you lose your turn after, right? So, yeah, you play soccer, so they don't have to walk back. But against most, you know, humans. Ouch. That sucks. I wonder if he saw that forward movement and tried to back throw, but it turned out to be heavy kicks, so he just got crushed. Abigail back heavy punch is an abomination, too, yes. How many people got robbed by Abigail back heavy punch in a V trigger in their lives? Thousands? Whoa. That was a mistake. I think he won a four medium punch ants here, maybe, and he just went under because she was a little too high. Cross up. That was really hard to see, too. Fierce hit. Nice. I think that's actually pretty easy to do. From when I played Rashid, that's what I thought. One more for the... I had a feeling, but how can you not press there, you know? Walk back fierce. He did that last time versus the Rekka too. If you're Phenom, you should probably... Maybe he's got to scout that. Damn, I don't know what he tried. Maybe a button? What did he hit on Wake Up to try to contest this? Wake Up Jab? Yeah, Wake Up Jab. He's like, good shit, all right, I'm out, peace. Damn, he literally ran out of the camera shot. He was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You have a good one. Yeah, non-reversal DP is like really, really useful in this game because if you do it as a reversal timing, you know, like when they walk back to bait something or if they do a slight delay button just in case you uppercut, it loses. Delayed uppercut is very good. Especially because if it turns out that you're in blocks on or something, then you just block. 